Hello again, and thanks for joining me. This is Kevin. Today I want to show you a technique that if you are doing e-learning courses where you can um, record in Audacity and let Audacity export multiple files for you. Let's say you wanted to do a series of slide recordings and you've been handed a script and you need to record them, let's say in Storyline or some other um, kind of a tool where you'd, you'd want to break them into individual files or slides. So this is a good little technique for that using Audacity. So here we are in Audacity, and basically I'm just going to go ahead and record some audio, but I'm going to speak slide one, slide two, and label them as I go. So watch how I do this. Slide one. This is some sample audio for slide one. Slide two. This is some sample audio for slide number two. Slide three. This would be some sample audio for slide number three. Okay, so now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my marker, my cursor, over the label for slide number one. And you can go up to Tracks, Add Label at Selection, or Command or Control B, depending if you're on a Mac or a PC. So we'll add a label selection, and I'll call this slide one. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete that marker. I'll come ahead here, hit Command B and label slide two. Then I'll go ahead and delete that because we don't need that audio. Finally, I'll come down here, Command B, and this is slide three. And I can go ahead and delete that little marker as well. And then we may wanna, might wanna position these just a little bit, give them a nudge. See a little piece of background audio there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And this should do it. So now, what I'm going to do to make this all work is I'm going to go to File, Export Multiple. And I'm going to choose my desktop as the location. And I'm going to choose 16-bit AIFF format for labels. Since we have um, started with slide one, we don't need to include audio before the first label. As you can see, we don't have any. And then you can use whatever file name you want, but I'm gonna use the label or the track name that I've given to it. But if you wanted to uh, give it a different name, you could do that right here. Now I'm gonna hit export. And this is where you could add metadata to your materials, but I'm just gonna click okay and go right on through. And now you can see it's exported multiple files to my desktop, slide one, two, and three. And if I hit OK and I collapse this down, you see we now have individually labeled files that we can pull into our Articulate project or anything else that we might want to be doing with them. And uh, pretty handy. So anyways, I hope that has helped you this morning. And uh, I want to thank you once again for joining me. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time.